Hi everyone, this is Levi Sheridan. This is my second update video on my investment casting setup. Uh, since the last video about two weeks ago, I have acquired a lot more supplies like the plaster and waxes as well as the metals I'll be using to melt down to make my parts. And that's what this video is about. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. I just wanna do a quick update on a few things I mentioned in the last video. The first being this stem in the vacuum chamber. It was unfortunately broken during shipping. So they sent me a replacement and I uh, successfully replaced it and the vacuum works perfectly now. The second update is the new crucible that I received from the company that I purchased this from. Uh, they sent me a new one because the one that I received with the unit was unfortunately cracked. So moving on to new things, I have received the plaster I'll be using, or the investment plaster I'll be using to uh, make my molds. It's UltraVest band dust from Ransom and Randolph. I've uh, heard good things about it. Have to do a little bit more research into the exact mixing proportions and whatnot, but it should work well. I have a just a cheap scale and mixer as well for that. This is my wax working station, which is new. So I have a wax working pen, uh, actually two of them uh, from one unit, which is nice and I can individually control our temperatures. They came with these tips that are interchangeable. So I can use them for various purposes. This is my daubing station. It has a nice organizer for my wax stick. So this is firm wax. All of the wax you see here is from Rio Grande in New Mexico. This is flexible sprue wax, so I can bend it and form more natural gates and events and, and sprues with that, while this is more uh, just for straight line work. Uh, and then this is a sticky wax. So when I heat, when I turn this on, it heats up, this melts, it becomes transparent and it's very sticky. It has lacquer in it. So you can use it to attach dissimilar waxes or wax to other non-wax materials and it works very well. This was my first attempt ever at forming any kind of sprue structure or gates or, or anything. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I used a little bit of red wax at the top, but it's mostly just blue wax as you can see. And using the pen and the sticky wax in the daubing station, it worked very well. I don't know if I'll end up making this, but it was just a part I had laying around. It's a, a prototype for an electric ducted fan that I'm working on. Uh, but it, it looks really great. I'm still waiting for the large sprue base that would then go on to there to connect onto the sprue base. But this is my wax working station. I'm happy with it. And it seems like the wax I've acquired works well. And I'll just have to see how it burns out. And then moving on to the next thing. This is the aluminum I have acquired that I will be working with. So it's aluminum 4032. It came from a car wheel uh, off of a scrap yard in Chicago. Uh, I have a XRF scan of the material, which is really great because that means I know exactly what I'm working with. I can look up the properties and, and understand what, what these metals are gonna do for me. I plan on making pistons and other parts, which is actually what this alloy is typically used for, which is great. Uh, but I have an XRR scan that I'll put up on the screen, put some information below in the comments, but it's uh, currently drying. I just cleaned it, but they're in good sized chunks that I can throw in my crucible. Some of them have paint, which I'm a little concerned about, but I don't think it will be an issue. It should burn off uh, and I plan on having good ventilation. So that shouldn't be too bad, but that's pretty much the current state of my setup. I'm kind of reaching the point where I have everything that I need. I'm just waiting for a few last things like the sprue wax, the large sprue wax, some ingot molds. And uh, apart from that, I'm, I'm pretty much done and I'm gonna get started very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'm looking forward to making some stuff. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your interest and uh, have a great day, bye.